Hi, I'm Ryan Crosby. Today I'm going to show you how to carve out underneath initial tuberosity or any bony prominence in, under the, in the pelvis. Maybe you've gotten your client on here and you've determined that they're loading on one IT or the other. So we need to scoop down underneath those areas. First thing you want to do is if they are loading on one area is to add a, a wedge into the cantle and then try to influence that with a wedge first. But if you need to carve down, this is how you do it. So I'm going to take a little marker here and let's say you've palpated, you've determined where that IT is and let's say it's right here. Okay, we don't want to go too big. Um, under the areas that are, are not weight-bearing surfaces, the ITs, um, the trochanters, the coccyx sacrum, those areas we can be pretty aggressive with how far we cut down. Um, it's the areas like the thighs, the, the posterior lateral glutes. We really want to respect those areas and not and be very ginger, gingerly with how we, we modify those areas. But here, we're going to get pretty aggressive underneath. And I'm going to use a tool. This is a uh, de-shedding tool or a, cat, a, a pet hair removal tool. Those work really well. You can also use a uh, like a hacksaw blade that's bent over and taped together on one end. Um, but this tool here, just going to go right in. Whoop. And scoop down pretty aggressively. All right. I think I've probably gotten down about uh, an entire inch. And then I'm going to come back with, this is actually a double-sided hook Velcro that we send with every cushion. Uh, most of the time you don't end up using these, but you can save them and use them to help smooth out edges on your cushion. It works really well to kind of fine uh, finesse those edges. And that's how you dig down. And that would be the same tool, the same mechanism for any um, adjustment, no matter where you're, you're carving down. Let's say you've carved this down, you've gotten your client back on it, and they're, uh, they're still loading there, and you've got really no more meat underneath to, to carve down. The next step would be to cut out a hole in the IT well. And I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So taking my marker again, and I, I don't wanna go too large, just about the, the uh, width of the ITs, maybe slightly larger. Okay, I just want to cut this area out um, completely through the bottom. And I'm going to use a uh, turkey knife to do that. And you want to follow the contours of the cushion when you cut this. You don't want to just plunge it straight in and cut it um, straight like that. You want to have it kind of follow those contours. Okay, so cut that out. I'm going to come back and use my Velcro, smooth out the edges. Could also use this as a Stanley Sureform wood rasp. That also can help smooth down edges. Now you'd have your client sit back on and try that out. So if this works and they're actually safe sitting over this and they've got clearance here, they could leave um, with the hole in the bottom of their cushion. We have lots of people out there with this particular scenario and it works great. But if they're not comfortable having a hole in the cushion, we could always add foam to the bottom, but it will lift it up a little bit. Um, but, and also if, with the cover back on, if they need to use that, that, the cover will need to extend down further into the well. So what you'd actually want to do is cut an X in the cover itself, right from uh, po from tro uh, excuse me from trochanter to trochanter, and then from uh, coccyx sacrum to the um, perineal area. Just cut it straight there like that, and then the cover will lay down into those contours, and they could use that um, for for the time being or indefinitely. We could always uh, tw uh, make a new cover for you if that's the case, but. That's how you modify the well underneath the, uh, the ischial tuberosities. If you have any more questions, please reach out to us at Ride Designs. Thanks a lot and have a great day.